All right, well, um, the next uh, segment <clears throat> might get a little uncomfortable. Dude. <laughs> what? Shut that door. So it's been three hours. Uh, three waiting hours. Waiting to come on our show. So Whistler's been out there. Dude, dude. He, um, I, I, I was going to take a leak. He comes uh, out of the bathroom, and he's wiping his hands off. So apparently he washed his hands. and So so he goes to shake my hand. And I'm like, well, I like a man that washes his hands. I go And I pointed to the no S zone sign that is now on our bathroom door. We had to put the sign up after yesterday. It says no S, you know, <laughs> uh, on the door. And uh, I said, you didn't, uh, you know, and I pointed to the sign. He goes, no, no, no. Whistler, and all this dead serious. He goes, Whistler has to drink a lot of water, <laughs> and I've been person. drinking a lot of water. Um, yeah, a Whistler. He calls himself Whistler. He goes, a, a Whistler. He goes, has to uh, drink a lot of water, and I've been drinking uh, since, uh, you know, for a couple of hours now. I'm like, oh, cool. You yeah. know what else a Whistler has to do? Give up all claims to box. <laughs> so, so then I, I, you know, I go to the bathroom. I come out, mm -hmm. and uh, he goes, um, my card and he gives me his card. Right. Steve the Whistler, <laughs> international champion. So so I, I, I look, and of course I have to go, well, international champion. <laughs> and he goes, well, s since that card's been printed, I'm now international grand champion. <laughs> Dude, deadly, deadly serious. Deadly serious. So basically we're going to be talking to the best whistler in the world. Dude, he's got please. a he's got a CD out called Broadway and Beyond. Steve the Whistler, Herp. Hold on, Opie, use all your talents and power to describe that album cover. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> you give me that thing. Give me this thing. Okay. <laughs> the the he's right outside. Be quiet. The disc. <laughs> what? I love when he gets uncomfortable in here. But it better is, be turned down. This is getting a little out of control. It's turned down, right? Dude, Broadway and beyond, mm -hmm. Steve the Whistler Herbst, <laughs> international champion. And then there's a picture of him. Uh -huh. Okay. His lips pursed in the whistling fashion. Mm -hmm. he, he, um, he almost has, I guess the closest thing you could say is a sl <laughs> slight Joey Buttafuoco look. Would you say that? Was this some of him? Yeah. Okay. Oh. He is... Uh-oh, a CD that's skipping. On the cover, oh, no. he is standing on uh, what looks to be a... Uh, the backdrop is Broadway. And he has his hands out like a an opera star, tenor or something, would, would have if he was singing. He's in a suit with a red bow tie, and he's whistling on the cover. You see his lips are like this. <laughs> he's whistling. On the back, though... It's the cash, Steve the Whistler. He's sporting a sweater and some uh, pants and cowboy boots as he is reclining on the back of his Aurora. What is that, a Buick? Yeah. His Buick Aurora showing his New York uh, license plate that says Whistler. <laughs> Whistler. He's like, it looks right out of some, like, turn off on Long Island somewhere, New York. Wow. As he said, did you see the back of this yet, Jimmy? Jimmy. Look. <laughs> All right, let's listen. Let's listen to a Steve the Whistler. All right. What song is this, Opie? What track? Oh, you'll know. Oh, I will? Yeah. <laughs> Memories from Cats. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Zamfir, master of the pan flute. Wow. Every dog in Manhattan has his head slightly tilted 45 degrees, looking about, confused. <laughs> right. I was going to whistle along. Incidentally, this picture where he's reclining, you would actually look more masculine if you were reclining on a mule. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Stinky? He's uh, ready to come in. Oh, is he? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get <laughs> All right. Um, now, people, people on the phones, we, we might need your help. Yeah, serious let, questions all. Yeah, let's no fooling around today. We want serious. Um, a serious interview, so we're looking for serious questions only. Questions only. With Steve, 
and the whistler. And to the phone screener, please, when you type the serious questions only, use code words so he does not look over at the screen. All right, let's. Uh, All right, let's welcome Steve the whistler <laughs> onto I'm, the uh, Opie and Anthony show. And I'm whistling a little to uh, welcome him. Don't whistle in front of him. I know. Now I, I don't want to like clap my hands and go because it might be uh, wrong. I might be doing it wrong. Yep. Now, I found out Jimmy Norton, Opie, doesn't know how to whistle. No, maybe Steve can teach a uh, little Jimmy Norton how to whistle. You I... got a whistler hat, do you? <laughs> I saw that with a little musical note on it. I was just uh, going, <laughs> you know, that's uh, one of the ways I whistle. I was pursing my doing? lips trying to whistle, and I just can't hey, do it. Hey, Steve, thanks there. for your card. Steve you. uh, giving Opie uh, one of his cards. And uh, Opie, uh, if Steve I might tell you. com. Oh, SteveTheWhistler.com. If I might tell you, Opie, where it says Steve uh, the Whistler Herbst, and then it says international champion, I was informed. Well, let Steve tell. Steve, uh, you are not just the international champion. Uh, no, uh, I'm actually the international grand champion. Grand champion. Now, what does that entail? Well, uh, we have a international competition the third, yeah. week in, third weekend in April down in Lewisburg, North Carolina. North Carolina, and people come from how far reaching? Well, uh, this year, the guy who got the award for coming the furthest was from India. India. And was he a good whistler? The highest arc. He was very good. He was very good. But he's no, you know, Steve, the whistler. Well, he uh, didn't make it to the finals. So. Didn't. <laughs> now, what are people looking for when they're judging whistling? Well, you have a panel of judges, most of whom are musical educators. Mm -hmm. or, and this, this year we had a couple of uh, uh, former champion whistlers. And they're looking for a de degree of difficulty of the piece you're doing. So if you're just doing something that's kind of easy, not a lot of note changes, uh, they might not look at that as uh, seriously as somebody who, who's doing a lot of note changes and dynamics. Right. Then things like that. That wouldn't be considered competitive. Right. Do a lot of people enter these uh, contests, Steve? How many people? Well, we have uh, kids, teens, and adults competing, and this year we had 31 adults, and uh, of that we had seven women and 24 men. Mm. Now, you, you were, you were uh, first place in classical music? Yes. Is that uh, what, what kind of uh, songs would you do classically? Well, this year in the preliminary round, I did Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy. And in Claire de Lune. Claire de Lune. Yes, Claire de Lune. And in the final round, I did uh, Hungarian Rhapsody Number no. 2 by Franz Liszt. I don't think I've heard that one. Have you, I, is that, I probably would know it as something else, you right? Would, you would definitely know it as something else. As a matter of fact, um, it's probably been used in a lot of uh, animated uh, cartoons. Oh, well, then I probably did hear it. Can you give us a little piece of that? So maybe we could uh, know what that's well, like. I don't know if he's warmed up, Anthony. I, I kind of want to hear... Uh, Oh, you're warmed up there, Steve? Yeah. He was whistling for me. I was whistling out there in the lobby, yeah. Now, is this the music for it? This is the accompanying music. The accompanying music. I have a question, though. Would, yes, would Jimmy? All, would all the whistlers laugh if a stroke victim entered? <laughs> you are. I'm all. sorry, what was that? <laughs> oh, uh, let's uh, play... Um, you're a horrible man. Let's play Steve's noise. music. <laughs> let's hear. Let's hear <laughs> let's the music. Uh, and we'll let Steve go here. And see if we recognize it. so much intro, huh? No, I, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's pretty. And I do recognize it. It's quite a pretty one. instrument.
long is this song? Too long for this. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a very good uh, demonstration Thank you. of Thank that you. song. There's a lot of uh, a dynamic to that. Very talented. This now, how the hell do you uh, figure out you can do this so well? A lot of practice behind this? Yes. Yeah. Years and years of practice. It's like, how do you get the Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice. Practice, they say. And now, now, how, how old were you when you uh, first took this interest in whistling? About seven or eight. Seven or eight. And uh, did your dad maybe whistle around the house? As a matter of fact, uh, he did whistle, and especially in the car whenever we went places, and that's how I got started. And you'd join in and uh, whistle along with dad. They didn't have Little League in your town? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, they did have Little League. Steve, do you get a little ribbing about the whistling <laughs> oh sure you do sure. sure. do you perform live i do perform live uh, what kind of venues would we be able to catch a uh, you at uh i have had occasion to whistle at uh, avery fisher hall at Stop. carnegie hall nice. at carnegie hall you took the stage at carnegie hall and whistled yeah and i whistled up at west point with the uh, cadets yeah and uh, you know different uh, actually the one of the funniest things uh, i was hired by yes, loman's please de loman's department <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopi. Loman's department store. They hired me to whistle at the retirement dinner of their chairman. Really? Mm. Did they pick a wacky song? No, actually, we oh. had to pick his favorite songs. What What was some of his favorites? Oh, New York, New York, Green Sleeves, uh, mm. Impossible Dream. Do you do any songs that you wouldn't ordinarily think a whistler should be doing? Any newer songs or... Something the kids might like, listen to. Well, actually, uh, one of the ones that you probably wouldn't expect is Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, Sir Duke. Maybe we could uh, get a little of that. Cool. And uh, Steve the Whistler Herbst will now uh, whistle along Can't wait. to Sir Duke. Stevie Wonder. Can you remember this? <laughs> Stop it, Opie. People are going to think it's him. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. I want to hear. Stop it. The sing along, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Very okay. Stop. Would you stop? I didn't do a whistler. Beautiful. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a talent. You're uh, SteveTheWhistler.com. Your lips must uh, cramp up like a five dollar hooker though. Sometimes, huh? You ever have that uh, happen to you? If I whistle long enough, they do get tired. They do get tired. How, how long uh, would a performance be that they wouldn't just freeze up on you? It ever happen to you? And you go, uh oh. Not in a performance, no. I can't go on, no. Have you ever, you ever do this just to be silly though? Like you ever been given oral treats to a girl and then just stop and whistle so it sounds like she's falling off a building? <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't going so well. Opie. Okay. I didn't do anything that time. Steve, does it annoy you if, like, when Opie started whistling over you? That's got to be tough. No, only, I, if, only if people thought it was me. You know, yeah, see? That's what I was thinking. Like, people are going to think that. I thought I did pretty well. You did, did horribly. Mm. You did horribly. What do you think Opie's whistling? It wasn't even on key. Well, it's just to the day job. Yeah. Very good. Well, the phones are alight with uh, people that want to learn more about Why whistling. Why can't I whistle? It's so annoying. I cannot Hey, maybe whistle. you could teach Jimmy. Jimmy Norton can't whistle. Give it a try. I swear uh. to God, I have the worst. Uh. It's with my weak chin and little pursy lips. I can't uh. whistle, and I never it's like you're could. waiting for a mama bird to regurgitate something into your mouth. Or an Asian man to put his C in there. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing wrong? He's uh, blowing too hard. Oh. Uh, well, I've been kicked out of many a car for that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask uh, Al Dukes if, it, if it's true no, that he had no. the... Ha 
that he had Surgeon. the flu during the fight on Friday. Oh, I'll do it. Well, what? what? Well, how do I do Use it? Use your ears. What do you want? How do I do it? <laughs> it sounds just like him, man. Hey, Ryan, what's up? <laughs> yes. Ryan! Hello, guys. What's up? We're talking to Steve the Whistler. I can hear it. I've been whistling for the last 20 minutes in the car. He's fabulous. Is but he I, great? I, I need to know his opinion on something. Because there's nothing worse than when you have a profession associated with something bad. And I'd like to know what he thinks about the following saying. Whistle while you work. Hitler was a jerk. Mussolini was a meanie. But the Japs were worse. Steve, what do you think? Uh, what do I think about that uh, what statement? The hell yeah, what was that? I don't know, but "Whistle While You Work" is a nice song. Uh, it yeah. probably is, right? <laughs> Especially if you're murdering Chandra Levy. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, you know, something I want to apologize, Steve, for that man because he doesn't have any class or couth, and he can't appreciate he's a, uh, some of the arts. He's a I'm not um, knocking whistling. That, I just think it'd be funny to whistle a tune while you're digging a grave and dumping a body into it. Steve, he's a traveling comedian, and he's in New York City this weekend, and we yeah. don't have an association with him at We'd all. We'd rather... So, uh, so yeah. don't mind him. He's from L.A.? Don't, don't mind him. You're from L.A.? Not originally, no. Akron. Akron, okay. Let's, uh, let's go to Aaron. Home of the Beacon Journal. Yes! Wow. Uh, Aaron! Hey, guys. Hey, Aaron. Aaron. Hey, guys, doing today? We're on the today? phone with Steve the Whistler Herbst. Hey, good afternoon, Steve. Hi, how are you? Ah, pretty good. So you've been whistling for quite a while, huh? Oh, yeah, for like 48 years. Wow. H have you like, acquired the ability to whistle with large objects in your mouth? You ever try any trick whistling like that, I guess, is what you're ah, trying to get at? That's a good question, yes. Uh, no, but uh, actually, I can whistle several different ways, including in as well as out. Oh, Stop. Oh, let's hear a little of that. Let's hear a little in whistling. Well, <clears throat> see if you can hear the difference. Okay. All right. Everyone listen. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes. I hear a difference. It's a little more woodwind sounding uh, on the in. Uh... Wait, when did he change? I heard him change. It was a little, just a slight difference. Where did you change, Steve? He might have been watching. That would be a giveaway. Was it? I oh, I wasn't want... supposed I, to you tell. Might have, you might have been cheating. He, I didn't uh, want to watch. You I can close your eyes. To to... Okay, get up with my ears. Try it again, and I'll tell you exactly when you change. Okay. Do a different song. I'm not looking. I'm going to try it. Do a different one. Do a different one. Now. <laughs> no, you <laughs> jack off. No. <laughs> Try it again. No, you dumb bunny. Try it again. Okay, go ahead. I'm not watching. <laughs> he's he's whistling in already, eh? That's out. Did you whistle in there? Yeah. You know something? Wow. God bless you. I didn't even notice that time. I think it was that I was watching the first time. Well, the the idea is to be able to keep going, you know, without having right. to uh, stop for the yeah for the breath. The Why breath. can't I do it at all? I can't. He can't do it at all. Because you have a light. Oh God! It, look it, at it, your it, nothing it, lips <laughs> trying so hard. It might be genetic. I don't know. It could be genetic. Yeah. You see, you're blowing too hard. <laughs> see, stop. Don't blow so but hard. When I do it, nothing comes out. My little empty... F I have a Down Syndrome tongue. <laughs> Just lolls. Uh, <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> Levi, what's up? <laughs> Levi? There's, there's a Let me leave... There's a, th a theory out that um, yep. if, ah. you need to be able to curl your tongue to... See, I, that's what I was meaning. I was saying that before. And then we just, you know, did something with each other's C's and we forgot about it. Um, Steve, a lot of people want to know what you lubricate your lips with. Oh, uh, is there any uh, special lip care that you need? Soft and supple. Basically, uh, you know, uh, a lip balm mm -hmm. helps mm -hmm. uh, and uh, water. Mm -hmm. Oh, water. Lip balm and water. Who knew? The Levi. of champions. Hey, what's going on? Yes, what's yes. Up? Levi. How you guys doing? All right. Hey, uh, I was wondering if this guy knows any of those uh, upbeat classics, like maybe some Flight of the Bumblebee. Wow, that would be rough. You ever try a Flight of the Bumblebee? <clears throat> I yeah, I have, and, and that's not one of the ones in my repertoire. Yeah, that would be a tough How, one. However, uh, the Hungarian Rhapsody later on in the piece is very up-tempo. I'll have to listen to that. Yeah, let's go to Well Hung. Well Hung! Hey, Steve, it sounds like it bends more when you're whistling in. A what? It, does, it sounds like it bends more when it's whistling in. <laughs> like it bends more? Yeah, the notes. Oh, uh, but actually, I got a request for Steve. Not as quite a pure sound, actually. Ah, ooh. Steve, can you whistle I Feel Pretty and dedicate it to the little Jimmy Norton? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, yes, and actually that's on the uh, CD, on my uh, CD, oh, Broadway Beyond. It? Oh, you got a Broadway CD. Broadway and Beyond, yeah. I Feel Pretty from uh, West Side Story, there's of a, course. There's a medley from West Side Story, and I Feel Pretty is one of the uh, tunes. All right, Steve, are you going to be performing anytime soon? Any uh, performances coming up, Steve? Uh, actually, uh, no. I, uh, a week or so ago, I sang mm -hmm. with the uh, University Glee Club of New York City. The if, Glee Club. Of which I've been a member for 24 years. Um, in um, Alice Tully Hall mm -hmm. a week ago, mm -hmm. and uh, next yeah. fall I expect we'll be doing a recital uh, with my wife, because she and I... Uh, oh, what does she do? Well, she used to be a professional singer, and right now she's... She uh, uses her armpit. She's a... a, uh, a <laughs> she, she, she's, she's a lawyer. <laughs> she's a litigator. Does she uh, do any backup whistling for you? She doesn't whistle. You, are you a single act? Do you ever have the uh, harmonies going on with you? Uh, somebody harmonizing whistling or anything? Yeah, that that happens. Oh yeah, that okay. has happened. Well, I just want to know what kind of, you know, what I can, I can expect if I ever go to a performance. Steve, thank you so much for coming down here and enlightening us a bit on the whistling. Well, could he leave us with a little more? You uh, want to leave with a little uh, number, a little ditty? Sure. You want to hear uh, which one? Which one? How about uh, Maria from West Side Story? Maria from West Side Story. Well, I guess we can. You remember? Uh, you remember that? All right, hold on. Very popular he needs Broadway music, tune. All right, here we go. It's Steve the Whistler. Uh, first, first, you still got the uh, Aurora? I do. On? You do have the Aurora. I do. That is some sexy pose you got going there, Stephen. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was fun. Yeah, all it's right. all about fun, Anthony. And was that picture taken out on Long Island? No, that picture was taken in Putnam. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought it was D.C., because if you look under the tire, I think I see Chandra's skull. <laughs> Look, he's dragging me in to his his debauchery. You finally, you made him happy. Ah, again. So <laughs> Look, great. he laughs at me. Ah, see, I did enjoy that. <laughs> Here we and go. Rubbing a tug, and we all laugh. <laughs> just, okay, just went there to further herself and live her dream. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What happened, what happened to the CD? What happened? It what didn't happened? skip. Rick. Oh, my God. I'm Who happened? Put it in the... Oh, um, Steve, I'm sorry. You put it in the wrong one, dude. No, no. no something happened to CD4. All right. Yeah, it's Steve the, the Whistler. It wasn't working last time. I'm sorry. Steve the Whistler. Maria. Uh, which one is this? Maria from, Maria from West Side from Story. Story. All right. Here Let's we go again. In. Steve the Whistler. Oh, what the hell is going on with the CD Dude, you player? Got it. That's the third time you've had a problem with that one. Clean it. This is the same one that was skipping earlier. When we were Put it in the other one. But take the CD and uh, rub it on your yeah. helmet. I'll try that. I'll try uh, CD two. Steve the Whistler. I'll look. I'll look because I think. <laughs> Here we go from uh, West Side Story. <laughs> Oh. Steve, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this? Turn it off and turn it on. And can you turn it off from the back there? I'm, Number four. I'm doing it. I'm you holding. The, I'm holding the, the button? button down. I'm holding the button. Track four, right? Steve, track, I'm sorry. Track nine. Track nine right? It's it'll it'll work now though, guarantee because I saw the light on here and I pressed the breaker. Yeah, nine. Nine. I'm sorry, Steve. It's okay. Here we go. Steve the Whistler. I'm holding it down. Dude, it popped. Maybe it's a CD. It popped. Steve, you got it's another CD, dude, because it was happy, It was fine before. You played uh, other stuff on the CD. It was fine. Steve, yeah. did, you got another copy of the CD? Damn, I did you burn this one yourself, Steve? Yeah, Steve's getting another copy. Oh, Steve, I see the problem. Look, look at the back of this thing. It's it's all smudged and stuff. You got right. you got some cleaner? I'm back. Steve, you got some cleaner? I don't have any. You got any clear stuff to rub on that? No, here, give it to me. The uh, no, give it to me. I'll I'll try to clean it with my shirt. This Into happens. Her. Make sure you're putting it in the one that I was uh, pressing the button on in the back. All right. Let's try this. Oh, God. Track A, not B. This is embarrassing, and this is not the way to run a goddamn um, a radio station. I'm sorry, Steve. Steve the Whistler. Mm. Where did... Yeah, I'm embarrassed now. 
Do you want to try one more time? We don't have I mean, to. It's always hitting at the same Acting point. lessons, whistling lessons. <laughs> I can't believe this. Do you have another cop? I see you're looking. Do you have another? Um... Well, not of that particular one. Damn but, it. Uh, you know, we can try a different CD. Is that with the a one? Kind of thing. All right, let me try uh, this. Song. I want to hear this song. It sounds beautiful. And and um, okay, there seems you, to be a were... problem with the CD player. Steve, you not you... all dollars and cents. What's wrong, Steve? No, I was saying you you you, you were playing the. Um, the Broadway and Beyond CD before, weren't you? I, I thought I heard. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but, yep, yep, but yep. it was skipping. It was uh, skipping, skipping. The first track was skipping. I, a little. Is it our equipment? Because then I would really be um, right, flabbergasted, uh, uh, mortified. Let's try mortified. It. Let's try it again here. All right, one more time. That's not going. It's stuck. Oh Jesus. Nice tone, Rick. though, right? Yeah, that was. I, I, I apologize. All right. Oh, God. Well, Steve, I think we're going to have to just take your word for it. Well, either that or do something acapella. What do you, what do you have? Um, Ooh, do you have another CD of, of music? Yeah. Maybe you could do another tune? Get sure. Rick, get that one. Can I uh, have uh, the CD? Right, oh, no. no. Look, I'm going <laughs> to... I'll touch the button in the back. <laughs> we solved that problem. <laughs> Where did everyone go? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Ben? Steve, I work with a bunch of lunatics. I'm sorry. I don't know where Anthony went. I don't know where Ben went. Garrett, you all right? Jim, why won't you look at Steve? I have no problem looking at Steve. It's you who I don't want to look at. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, if this if this works, we'll be uh, doing music of the night from Phantom of the Opera. Oh, we're doing. Oh, oh ready? Track uh, nine. There, Steve. Say goodbye to your T cells, everyone. <laughs> oh, Steve the Wish. All right. He's got a website, uh, stevethewhistler.com. Yeah. International Grand Champion. Shh, 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 shh. Whoops. <sighs> We've got farther that time. No, yeah, but this CD player is just ridiculous. Yes, uh, Jim. I would. Would it be possible? Could you whistle "Singing in the Rain" while I'm raping a girl? <laughs> you know, you're you're trying to be outrageous. You do this every time you hear, and it's not. Um, I don't know why we have you back. It's not washing. I. I uh, Steve, this reminds me of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, right. And he's all uh, three except for the good. What? Yep. Guess who the good guy is here? <laughs> I don't know. Should be the good, the bad, the yeah. positive. Oh. I can almost hear a see Clint ride up. No, Steve, you turned your mic off. I did. Yeah, it, 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 son of a. Uh, you mean that didn't get on the good, bad, and the ugly? Uh, part oh of it did. Oh my God. Part of it did. Try it again from the top. Did you yeah. hit the? Uh, yeah, he hit the mic on the Going there off by itself, this mic. The mic's going off yeah, by itself. Now it happened. Someone spilled water there. Uh, popped off. Uh, you know, on its own. Yesterday, someone spilled the water there. The CD player. No, Steve, uh, hold the on mm. button down, and it should work fine. Well, that's what we. Uh, There's yeah, like a loose think. connection over there. Sometimes we rarely use that microphone. They should put you on mic four. Try it again. Did we find another um, CD with the other song? Uh, not one. That's it doesn't work. Not one. That's not great. Okay. Professional. Okay. Guys, Welcome guys, to New York City Radio and uh, National Syndication. You need a boombox in here. Yeah. Yeah. See, that would work. Oh, you know why? And it's a CDR. The CDRs don't. Uh, yeah, the Dan and CDRs don't uh, read. We we we, we have sometimes. one in here that does yeah, read. That, well, though. these are why old Dan and it? that's why. Do we have a boombox though? Could it all come in with one on his shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know, I think we got to get Steve the Whistler out of here. Oh. All right, I uh, Steve again. I uh, I'm a fan, and uh, your music is beautiful. 
I appreciate you coming down. I'm sorry about the uh, technical glitches, and uh, especially Jim Norton. Uh, well, it's, it's been fun to be here, and, and he's really uh, an awful man. Hopefully, yeah. uh, you know, if I come back again someday, uh, we'll, absolutely, we'll, we'll work out the technical difficulties. Let's do that then, Steve. Steve, thank you. Uh, give out the website once again. That's www.stevethewhistler.com. All right, uh -huh. it went off the air. The button went off. What, what? Yeah, no. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> All right, Steve. It, it, it was Steve? I got the Steve part. All right, it's Steve. That's Steve. www.stevewhistler.com. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the CD is Broadway and Broadway and Beyond. And Broadway and you can act like a man. Broadway and Beyond. Gotcha. <clears throat> and uh, and that's that, I guess. Steve the Whistler. Steve, thank you so much again, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye, guys. I'm sorry I said those things. You should be. Walk out, Steve the Whistler, as we go to news yes. with uh, with um. Well, I hope that works again. Steve, thank you so much. At uh, 628, it's uh, time for news and yes, uh, yes, and traffic with uh, Debbie. Debbie, what's going on on the roadways oh, today? Yes, I, it's always such a, a cluttered mess out there, isn't it, Debbie? Debbie? Yeah. Oh, Debbie? <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> Debbie? <laughs> Where's uh, Debbie? <laughs> now he's back because Jimmy said that. Jimmy goes, um. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. Is, I'm sorry I said that stuff. Is it I didn't... Done? Shut up, you dick. <laughs> Go talk to Steve so we can talk a little bit. Yeah, here. yeah. Make sure everything's up. Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, Dude when you were hand... <laughs> he's Opus beckoning to me over the, I know. the CD. That's when I fled my seat. I <laughs> left my seat. I was embarrassed to be on this program. I knew he was going to break it. Ovi goes, uh, Jimmy, could you hand that over? And I'm looking at Ovi going, no, he is absolutely not going to do this. But then I knew you did, and I got up and went behind the equipment. Yeah, and that's what made me laugh harder, is that you just took the coward's way out and hid behind the machinery. I can't sit here when that's going on. So uncomfortable. When ben, he kept turning off the ben goddamn hid, CD player. Ben hid in a spot, I, like way under the, the console. Yeah. Oh God! When, when you when you kept turning off his music, like right at the beginning when he started whistling, <laughs> I couldn't hold a straight face. That's why I had to leave. I had to leave. I went behind the equipment and cried. My tears are back there. God, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't deal with situations no, I'm like that. I freaked out. The best was Ed in the background with the machines. Yeah, I'm back. holding the button in. <laughs> I had to leave the situation. Co-host chortling behind I the scenes. I had to leave. <laughs> All right. All right. I think, uh, I don't know what we're doing next. <sighs> this is the dumbest radio show ever. Tell us to my dick.